So guys, I'm going to show you today how to make something called spaghetti pizza. First thing you do is you take about a half box of noodles and you put a little water in there, let them cook a little bit. And then you're going to brown your about a pound of ground beef. And while the brown beef is browning, you add a little bit of this sauce right on top of the beef. And um, it's something I'm making for lunch. The next thing you do is you're going to add a little bit of uh, cheese on top. Cheese is good when you cook it, right? Hold on a minute. Making the bread for the pizza, I don't have any flour, so you're going to use oats, cream corn, and one egg, and a little bit of baking soda, and just going to make some bread in the skillet. Pour some more sauce on top, mix on top of it. Flour, you can make this big bread pie out of flour in a separate pan, but I don't have any. Then you're going to just pour your bread right on top. This is just oats, cream, corn, and an egg. And this is my bread part. Okay, you take it and you just flip it out on top. It's supposed to flip right out at the bottom, but I don't think I had enough oil in there. So you take your breading, which is our oat, our oat bread, oatmeal and cream corn, and you just smash that down on top like that. Okay. And you're going to put a little bit more sauce right on top. So this is called a spaghetti pizza. You want only need like a half jar of salt, and then you just spread your cheese all around like that. I know it looks crazy, but it tastes delicious. Turn on your heat and so the cheese can melt a little bit. If you want, you can put a little oregano on top. What it looks like it's like a pizza in the skillet it's called a spaghetti pizza once the cheese is melted then you can cut it into slices and serve it on a plate just like it was a slice of pizza my son is going to enjoy it normally you can make this with just a flour patty of bread that you kind of flip over in the skillet and put it in there but i don't have the um ingredient for that and the bottom layer is spaghetti Cut it into like a slice of pizza and then you serve it on a plate. 
actually should like wait until it all melts. This is just a fun thing to make. If the kids are hungry and you're not really feeling like you want to eat that day, but they want to eat something, kids love a spaghetti and they love a pizza. And the cheese gets just about melted. You want to get a slice out and serve it. That's how it goes. Take it like so, and you pick the whole thing up just like that. The spaghetti and all. The spaghetti is the filler for the meal. If you want, you can add in some vegetables, but the corn is inside of the bread. You add the corn in the bread. And then if they want extra spaghetti, you can just take it and put it on the side or on the plate. And he can eat all he wants because I'm not eating today. This is a fun dish that you can make at home. It's a stovetop spaghetti pasta. I mean pizza. Pizza spaghetti. Everything is pizza. See? It's just like a slice of pizza. You got your, your oats and your cornmeal bread in there. Well, it's oatmeal and corn and one egg and a little baking soda. That's what makes the bread. The rest of it is just a piece of spaghetti, meat. You have to brown the meat and then put it on top of the spaghetti and then salt and cheese and bread. And that's all it is. You want to keep this kind of cheese in the house if you want to make something on the stove, right? So, you gotta, I think you got to eat it with a fork because you could pick it up if I let it sit and cook a little bit more because the spaghetti gets kind of hard under the bottom. So... Spaghetti pizza. I hope you enjoy and I hope you try this at home. Bye.